let's say I go to the fruit store today and they have a sale on guavas. Everything is 30% off. This is for guavas. On guavas, and it's only today. Only, only today. So I say, you know what? Let me go buy a, a, a bunch of guavas. So I go and I buy six guavas. So I buy six guavas. And it ends up when I go to the register, and you know we're assuming no tax for you know it's, it's a grocery, and I live in a state where they don't tax groceries. So for the six guavas, they charge me. I get the thirty percent off. They charge me twelve dollars and sixty cents. Twelve dollars and sixty cents. So this is the thirty percent off sale price on six guavas. I go home, and then my wife tells me, you know, Sal, can you go get two more guavas tomorrow? I say sure. So the next day I go, and I want to buy two more guavas. So two guavas. But now the sale is off. There's no more 30%. That was only that first day that I bought the six. So how much are those two guavas going to cost me? How much are those two guavas going to cost at full price? At full price. So a good place to start is to think about how much would of those six guavas cost us at full price? This is the sale price right here. This is the sale price, how much would those have cost me at full price? So let's do a little bit of algebra here. Let me pick a suitable color for the algebra. Oh, maybe this little gray color. So let's say that x is equal to the cost of six guavas, six guavas at full price. So essentially, if we take 30% off of this, we should get $12.60. So let's do that. So if we have the full price of six guavas, we're going to take 30% off of that. So that's the same thing as 0.30, or I could just write 0.3. I could ignore that 0 if I like. Actually, let me write it like this. My wife is always bugging me to write zeros before decimals. So that's the full price of six guavas minus 0 0.30 times the full price of guavas. So I'm literally just taking 30% off of the full price off of the full price. This is what how we figure out the sale price. This is going to be equal to that $12.60 right there. That's going to be equal to $12.60. I just took 30% off of the full price. And now we just do algebra. We could imagine there's a 1 in front, you know, x is the same thing as 1x. So 1x minus 0.3x is going to be equal to 0.7x. So we get 0.7 x, or you could say 0.70 if you like, same number, point or 0.7x is equal to 1260. And once you get used to these problems, you might just skip straight to this step right here. Well, you say, hey, 70% of the full price is equal to my sale price, right? I took 30% off. This is 70% of the full price. You might just skip to this step once you get used to these problems a little bit. And now we just have to solve for x. Divide both sides by 0.7. So you get x is equal to 12. 60 divided by 0 0.7. We could use a calculator, but it's always good to get a little bit of practice dividing decimals. So let's do that. So we get 0 0.7 goes into 1260. Let's multiply both of these numbers by 10, which is what we do when we move both of their decimals one to the right. So the 0.7 becomes a 7. Ignore that right there. The, the 1260 becomes 126. Put the decimal right there, the decimal right there. And we're ready to just do straight up long division. So this is now a 7, not a 0.7. So 7 goes into 12 one time. 1 times 7 is 7. 12 minus 7 is 5. Bring down the 6. 7 goes into 56 eight times. 8 times 7 is 56. And then we have no remainder. So it's 18, and there's nothing behind the decimal point. So it's 18, in our case, $18. So x is equal to $18. Remember what x was. x was the full price of six, avo six guavas. x was the full price of six, did I say avocados? x is the full price of six guavas. Now, the question is, how much will two guavas cost me to full price? Well, this is full full price of six. So you immediately could figure out what's the full price of one guava. You divide 18 by six. 
So 18 divided by 6 is $3. That's $3 per guava at full price. And they're asking us, we want two guavas. So two guavas is going to be 2 times $3. So this is going to be $6. $6. Another way you could have done it, you could have just said, hey, six at full price are going to cost me $18. Two is one third of six. So one third of $18 is $6. So just to give a quick review of what we did, we said the sale price on six guavas, $12.60. That's 30% off the full price. Or you could say this is 70% of the full price. 70% of the full price. And so you could say 30%. So if you say x is the full price of six guavas, you could say the full price of six guavas minus 30% of the full price of six guavas is equal to 12.60. And that's equivalent to saying 70% of the full price is 12.60. You divided, then we just solved this algebraically, divide both sides by 0.7. And then we got x, the full price of six guavas, is $18, or that's $3 per guava, or $6 for two. Anyway, hopefully you found that helpful.